Well, hello, Taurus. TT here, giving you a prediction over the next seven days. Whatever you are guided to this reading, trust that the messages were intended to find you when you were guided to them. All of my readings are timeless, but we are focusing over the next seven days for all of my Taurians out there. We're going to take a look and see what you need to know, what's going on in these predictions. If you are new, welcome to our love nest over here on Talk Taurus Tarot. If you're returning, welcome back, you guys. So over the next seven days, Taurus, there is an argument, okay? There's a reality, re reality check that someone is going to be given. There is a blessing in disguise um, this is going to hit really deep. Something's going to be said this week over the next seven days that really gives someone um, like a, a reckoning. OK, it's something that someone is going to bring to someone else's attention, awareness like, hey, listen, this could be a missed opportunity or listen, you are out of control. You need to work on yourself. You need to walk, work on the way that you talk to people, how you, how you utilize your words, how those words affect people, things like that. I feel like Taurus, this is kind of you giving this gift to someone else. Like I'm saying, I'm telling you this because I love you. All right. So this could be in relation to something that you do spiritually, right? You can use your gifts to kind of give up the harsh truth. Um, all right, you could be talking to someone within your family, but I feel like you this is coming from a this is coming from a space of love. This is coming from a space of um I'm telling you this because I love you type of energy. Um, that you need to sober up. You could be telling someone like, hey listen, you need to sober up, you need to make better choices, you need to really figure out what you want to do with your life and be willing to commit to it long term. And I feel like the divine is using you over the next seven days, excuse me, to really purge. All right. I'm, I'm getting like a stuffy nose. All right. So you may be having, a, I'm also seeing someone get like a package. Okay. You could be doing another purge as well. And then in this package, maybe you've been waiting on an order to come in and this order is going to come in. And when you do this purge, um, this reality check is going to hit someone. Like I've been really um, out here just running into karmic situations or hitting a, a, a dead end. Um, and it's been hurting. So this is like someone's been hurting themselves um, around you. Or just being very reckless with how they talk. They're very hurtful with their words. Um, someone might accuse you of being hurtful with, with your words, Taurus. They may tell you like, oh, you know, you need to watch how you talk to people. You need to use more tact. Okay. But this is stemming from a space of jealousy that I feel. I feel like this is um, envy and jealousy. Like someone is envious and jealous of something that you do. OK. Something that you do is like this is meant for you. All right. Someone could be really um, trying to hurt your feelings, wanting you to feel less than about some type of gift that you have or ability that you have. I'm also seeing like uh, somebody might be jealous that you're receiving a large promotion or some type of reward over something. Hmm. But you're receiving these blessings because you've put in some type of hard work and you're being acknowledged about this. So this is as well could be a promotion for somebody. I don't know why I keep feeling congested. I'm seeing someone like really cry you know what I'm saying just feeling really emotional this could be the reaction of someone around you I get this energy of just needing to be careful when dealing with someone like this okay or you may be telling someone like hey you need to be careful with what you say because once you say it you can't take it back or someone is saying this to you and this is like a divine gift 
through through someone else aquarius energy strong aquarius energy telling someone like hey listen this is a this is something that can lead to like nonsense Un unnecessary injury unnecessary pitfalls unnecessary downfalls but this is a reality check so like it's time to get sober it's time to clean up Mhm. Mm yeah this has a lot to do with uh finances and like how you how much how much work you put into something if you don't put in the work you won't see the fruits of your labor all right that's what this energy is about All right, this could be you as well, looking at your finances and seeing how hard you work, realizing where you came from and where you are now. And you're balancing a lot of responsibilities off your strength alone. That's what I feel like here. It's just you in the middle. Um, you're the one balancing your, your everyday life, your responsibilities and your practical reality. So it's like you may have to be very prudent. OK. Otherwise, if you do not take control of the situation, it will go out of control. If you allow someone else to make you feel off balance, then you will not want to show up for work. Right. If you will spend if you're not able to balance out your everyday life, then it affects your money. It affects all these other areas of your life. So you're really like. This is, a, this is a big opportunity that you're trying to seize. You're really trying to jump into this moment. Um, and you're being very blunt, direct, and honest with the people around you because you've already been on that side of the fence where you've had to loss, you've had, you've had to lose a lot. So you're really like focused this week to really commit to your practice, your work, um, maintaining a schedule at home. I'm seeing you really dedicate yourself to maintaining a very strict daily goal that you're trying to achieve. And it's like, you don't have time to really babysit other people's feelings or emotions. And they're going to get their feelings hurt this week. If they do not tread lightly when it comes to you, if that's what, if they want the smoke, I feel like this week you will give the smoke. <laughs> All right. You're like, jump in, do something, be productive or get out of the way. Mm hmm. And it, I feel like this is going to be a very quick warning, but you are not playing. You have a decision that you're going to make this week It's either I allow. I allow this to take me out. I allow this to make me feel lack energy. I allow this to make me feel down. Or I do something about it and I invest in it the right way. Mm -hmm. Let's get the outcome this week. I'm curious to see. Yeah, you're going to be extremely focused and creative this week. And you are not playing around with people. All right. If you have children, I really see you, you know, having them on a strict schedule as well. Um, I'm, I'm also seeing you teach someone this week or you're talking to someone about handling their responsibilities. You've earned some type of reputation for yourself where you know how to really juggle multiple things at once and you're successful at it. So I feel like this week you are you're giving um, Like you're showing compassion in a way, but it's reserved for like children. Okay. So like, let's say for example, you have children, you're, you're delicate with how you handle that going back and forth with someone. You're not going to go back and forth with a grown up or an adult. You're really putting things into perspective. If you have like a business, this is a lot of money this week. A lot of money's on the table this week for you, Taurus. A lot of money to be made, a lot of progress to be made, a lot of focus and dedication to something that you're building. I'm also hearing recoup. So there is something about recouping what you've lost. All right. This week as well, I see you coming up with a new strategy to recoup something that you lost. Your creativity is going to be heightened. Um, you will have to do this alone this week. You're, you've already missed enough opportunities and you're not going to allow yourself to miss any more. 
whatever these opportunities or options that you have. It's like I can go this way or that way. But either way, this is where your strong suit is. You're, you're strong in this position. Even though the two of pentacles is a very, you know, there's a need for balance. This is the best way for you to balance out all these responsibilities is you have to put them into perspective this week and you have to really focus on, you know, what what needs your energy? What task needs your energy more? What goal needs your energy more? What daily regimen needs your energy more? What level of focus and dedication needs your energy more? And you know that based off of your expertise and what you know to how you know to accomplish things it's like you know that you will reap what you've sown and you will get the reciprocity that you're looking for based off of your hard work and your dedication so anyone else outside of that parameter that is um unable to understand that or get that or respect that i really feel like you're like hey hold on don't get mad at me because you're feeling some type of way about things that are not working out for you in your life. You're telling someone this energy or you're communicating this to a lot of people that are called to you to learn from you. All right. What did you do last season, last summer? Did you do what you needed to do then so you can receive the benefits or the the reciprocity that you want to receive in spring? If you know you didn't do that work, then you got to go back and balance out whatever this is so you can continue focusing all right yeah some type of energy that was stuck for you is going to get unstuck a lot of green is here i'm also seeing you communicate to someone that they need to provide more all right, holding someone accountable this week, like you need to provide more or show up more. You, Some of you could be just holding yourself accountable. Like, you know what? I could cut out this habit or I could cut out this and this this habit here or or this oversleeping here, um, this lack of dedication here. And this is going to really put me on the right pedestal. There's something about this week where if you work like a nine to five, and you have very little time. I see you no longer like watching so much TV or letting things get out of hand. Like you're cleaning up. You're really spring cleaning. I'm seeing spring cleaning. I'm seeing a lot of focus, reorganizing your personal home, your personal life. Um, really stable energy from like this is like ground zero. And you're like, for the next three months or for the next month, I'm going to be dedicated to this so I can guarantee um, and it's a particular outcome. Hmm. You're going to get some type of help this week because we have temperance here. So no, no longer overindulging in something. You're going to do something alone by yourself. This is like recovery as well. So if you've been recovering from an accident, like a physical accident or injury, you're going to feel amped up. Okay, you're going to feel like now you can really focus on your body. Now you can really focus on what you want to do here. I see you holding back and saving more as well. So no longer overspending as well. Okay, I'm seeing Taurus, you really focus on like not overspending or not overindulging in something. You see how you have all coins here all pentacles you have a lot on the line this week you have angels working with you as far as your frequency helping you maintain a consistent frequency intuition foresight really using your psychic ability abilities this week to plan ahead all right plan ahead for your future plan ahead for your future business you're getting out of some type of fear I'm also seeing you study like another project or take on another project. This is something that um, 
you're good at, but you have to teach yourself, right? So whatever this is, you have to teach yourself or commit yourself to more spiritual practices that help develop some type of gift that you have. So this is like doing more coloring activities, um, really sitting with your spirit guides, communicating, and you're really allowing yourself to tap into a psychic ability here. Strong on this purple. Eight of Swords. Yeah, that stuck energy of being like trapped to any situation. You're pushing through like bulldozing through this shit this week. You're feeling inspired to do a lot of things. Get your own, get yourself together. So this week you're really going to want to get yourself. What did I say? Non-independence back. So someone's really going to be like pushing the envelope to get their independence back. Taking all your energy and invest, reinvesting it back into yourself this week. This is what your spirit guides want you to focus on this week. More strategic, like more strategic budgeting, more strategic uh, developing, developing your skills. This is like developing a strategy. You could be a developer or you're developing some type of strategy to get um, people moving. You could be an influencer influencer <laughs> why did I say it like that you could be an influencer okay and you're really trying to figure out how to help people efficiently juggle with their everyday task and responsibilities someone could be developing an app here um, how are you going to get people to get out of this lack energy and get out of fear and really start investing in themselves and breaking generational curses. So you're trying to come at things from a different angle. So you're teaching something this week. Someone's teaching something about spirituality or really coming up with a new creative way to teach people how to commit. And if they fell off, how to get back up again and recommit to your personal goals. A lot of commitment here. Yeah, this is like you getting a handle or a hold on your vices. What do you do in excess? What attachments do you have? Really looking at the person in the mirror, looking at yourself um, more strategically. All right, I'm seeing like a whole new persona being born, a whole new version of you Taurus being born from this energy all right when you work hard you get to play even harder and do other things that you enjoy doing when you have a very strict when you have a very disciplined schedule you're going to be able to see the fruits of your labor all right like hanging out with friends and being socially gathering is great but this is like I need the right type of people around me. I need the right type of energy around me so I can feel good and that I can pour all of that energy into my creative projects. I can pour all of that energy into what I want to do for my personal endeavors. Look at that. And, and your spirit guides are saying, yes, that's exactly what you need to focus on. Ignore those that feel trapped and stuck. They don't want to change. It's time to let them figure it out on their own i do feel like they will come back around again with the six of pentacles when they're ready to listen and when they're ready to receive more guidance from you they'll come um but you're being guided as well some of you to a whole nother group of people a whole nother stream of income a whole nother soul tribe that needs your guidance and your assistance and you're really trying to to reshift how you creatively express this energy right you want to help those that want to be helped so you're no longer trying to convince people like hey let's get up let's do this you're no longer trying to motivate people you're shifting from motivating others into pouring all of that energy into yourself and letting it exude out of you and attracting the right type of people that really are committed to 
themselves and committed to doing the inner child work. This is um, all the energy towards the end of the week is so much lighter. It's so much brighter. Um, and it's because you emotionally detach from something. And this is a divine gift. Something was trying to hold you back or pull on you. Mm -hmm. But you're going to receive some type of wisdom from someone else that tells you like, hey, listen. You can't fight with people that don't want to fight for themselves or you can't push other people to do things that they don't want to do. Right. So this is like you surrendering control at work. Like even if you're a boss or you're a manager, it's like you're going to allow the chips to fall where they may and you're going to handle things accordingly all right discipline disciplinary energy is out here for you Taurus you're holding people accountable because you're holding yourself accountable this week and I don't feel like you're saying this or you're communicating this to anyone else you're just doing it and naturally the energy is shifting around you people are going to feel it so you're going to see that certain people come to you and they're like you know hey you're very cold or you're not as emotionally invested or I haven't really heard from you in a while. That's because you're focused on whatever this is. Like you're really leaving the drama in the past. You're like, I, I, I can't, I can't. I cannot help you this week. I have to help myself. Temperance and I mean the high priestess and the ace of swords. So your higher self is taking the reins this week. Your higher self, look at that. And then you get to the nine of pentacles by the end of the week, feeling accomplished. You accomplished a great virtue this week. Okay, I feel like this virtue is temperance. I posted on the community tab, the seven deadly sins and the seven heavenly virtues. And you're going to use one of those virtues of temperance to combat. You're going to combat whatever this is energy of lack is this could be envy jealousy you know all those different projections right and you're looking at yourself like how have I contributed to this energy and how can I utilize my energy more efficiently in a way where I make sure that I am taken care of ten of pentacles your home is taken care of your finances are taken care of everything is in perfect balance duality is here as well Yeah, your masculine and feminine energy are in harmony this week. I feel like you're putting your, all of the, those emotions that you may have had stirred up. You're going to plant those seeds into something that allows you to articulate or communicate something very effectively. There's a specific angel helping you. It could be Archangel Michael. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Four of Cups. It's time to get over something. There's something that you're going to decide to do. Okay. In solitude, you come up with the clarity and you're able to see whatever's been blocking you or what's been imbalanced in your life. Too much that's been too much focus on certain things has been um, a distraction, Taurus. There's going to be Family Matters. You've been given a very, very, um, your spiritual team has given you the clarity that you need, this gift, this ability. Um, some of you is going to be something that you're going to be inspired to just try it out and teach yourself a new skill. All right. Reinvest in yourself. Some of you may be taking a class or you're going, you're looking at different classes. How much is it going to cost? How are you going to get the money to pay for it? How are you going to maintain it? Um, yeah, this is a divine opportunity. You guys, you're being guided to plant this seed and it's going to multiply seven of swords. 
I'm hearing you're going to keep this to yourself, whatever this is that you're creating. You may have to lie and say that you don't have it. I feel like certain people may come to you and want you to give, 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 give. And I feel like you're going to have to say, I see you kind of saying like, you know, no, I can't help you with that. I have my own responsibilities this week. I have to pay for those things. Yep. So your finances is being guarded and defend, defended this week. A lot of people are like, they feel a lot of remorse and a lot of guilt, but you're going to have the strength to persevere over whatever this is, Taurus. Somebody may be asking you for help. Okay. I'm picking up Sagittarius. I'm picking up Leo, all earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Pisces energy as well. I'm picking up on strong Leo. All right, Aquarius energy again. This is communication. Is you're being supported with being able to effectively communicate uh, something of purpose or value. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit, all upright, please. Anxiety. So whatever's been causing you to feel anxious around the future or if you're going to be able to maintain something um you're being protected there is a lot of projection over here around your belief systems and your environment people may not understand your gifts or your abilities and um ostracize criticize not being sure of how you're going to be perceived by other people. Are people going to call you crazy? Are people going to say certain things about you um, and really attack your ideals? I feel like you're being protected because it is an emotional state that doesn't belong to you. So this week, you're also going to notice that some of these energies or worries that you have are like you, uh, you picking up the frequency, okay, of your environment. So you may feel guided to work outside more or go to another whole community or another whole environment and i feel like you're going to take a gamble this week as well because you may not know how it's going to turn out but it's really going to make you feel better some of you you might need if you work from home you might be feeling like you need to get like a an office outside of your home so you can really work and really focus on your dreams and your destinies and um, it may cost money to do it so if you feel like you know what I can't work in this environment I need quiet I need a better just get in your car you're gonna feel guided to get in your car grab a cup of coffee go to a park read outside um, just be around surrounded around good energy there's something about nature, seeing the beauty of outside, going for a ride or a drive. It allows you to show up um, more for your family or just feel happy. When you feel good, everything else around you feels good. So track down your fears and your desires. I'm also seeing you maybe vlogging or going more places to vlog. This week, someone else might ask you as well if you can help them with um, with like a ride and you may not feel like you want to help. I feel like you want to help. Right. That's the energy that I pick up on. Like you want to you want to carpool. You want to help someone if they ask for it. But this particular energy, your spirit guides is saying, remember the last time you made a risk and you, you took a risk and you sacrificed going to work or showing up on time for yourself to help someone else how did that make you feel I feel like that is one of the patterns you're going to be learning about this week like I have this nature where I tend to you know sacrifice my personal goals to accommodate anyone that calls on me I pick up my phone I answer them and before you know it you know I got myself into a situation and I wasn't able to complete my daily goals. So your priority this week is going to be you and your family, your immediate family. Mm. 
I'm also picking up this energy where you're very sensitive to energy. I'm feeling it right now. Hold on. Some of you might start feeling touched by like a spirit. Or you might start seeing signs of paranormal activity. <sighs> hmm. There's a web of dysfunction in a certain location. The energy is very heavy. So you're you're always transmuting this energy like repetitively over and over and over again to balance yourself. Mm hmm. Something about the time of year. Nine, ten, eleven. Four. You gotta be get grounded this week. I feel like you're gonna get this desire or this urge to just get grounded and um go outside and, and be You gotta get over your fears of something. You have a fear of something, or you have, or you, you're getting over this fear of loss, this fear of regret. And you just start, you know, moving your body, cleaning up, picking yourself up off the ground so you can feel better. And you have ancestors that are helping you. Oh, like I said, the energy is feeling a little heavy. Let's see what these cards are talking about. So they are telling you be aware of not listening to your intuition this week. Your intuition is trying to tell you not to take any, um, not to sacrifice your goals and your daily Decisions. If you set up a schedule for yourself and someone randomly calls you and they say like, hey, can you help me do X, Y, and Z? If you have a goal and you're sticking to a plan, you're going to have to communicate this week like, hey, I wish I could. But what I can do for you is, I don't know, send you to another resource or help you get help somewhere else. Because it feels like you're not able to help somebody this week. They're going to need to help themselves. Hmm. Someone may be saying like, oh, I'll pay you. Like, I'll pay you if you take me to the store or I'll pay you if you take me somewhere. Just help me do X, Y, and Z. And I feel like you're being guided not to bat for this person or to accept whatever they're offering, be offering because someone is under some type of karma. Okay, this could be around a car. Someone may have car issues. Um... And they're like, I will pay you to take me to, to I don't know, go get a car. Or I'll pay you to take me to go get something. And there, there's someone else that can help this person or these people. And you're being guided to allow them to find the solutions themselves. Don't, don't offer them the solution, okay? Don't try to persuade them, you know, say what you have to say. I feel like this week... Like, just don't try to persuade people in a way where you're you're like, I'll help you do X, Y, Z if you're willing to do this. Allow them to find the solution themselves. That's what Spirit is saying. If you want to help, let them figure it out. Yeah. Even if you know they have nowhere else to go or you feel like they don't. Um, you may experience soliciting as well, like while driving. And you may feel like, you know what, I want to take help that person, give them a ride. You're being guided to be aware of that because I do feel like that energy is um, very low vibrational. And they're telling you, like, pay attention. Spirit is 
especially if you run into any panhandlers that are like, hey, can you give me a ride this week? And you feel like, well, this person doesn't have anybody batting for them. They don't have anybody helping them. So let me go ahead and help them. Their spirit guides is going to give them a solution. Don't do it for them. That's what they're saying. It will only lead into like a disaster. It'll, it'll, you'll put yourself at risk. So they're telling you to stick to your studies. Stick to what you're going to be doing for yourself. Take the advice. Um, you will get over this, but this is like someone's going to have to find a way to come up with the money themselves. They're going to have to find a way to pay for something themselves, give themselves that attention that they're looking for. You, you're going to have to ignore them. Yeah. And go outside and go somewhere else into another environment. If that's what's necessary. A lot of <sighs> heavy energy, y'all. Hmm. I don't know. I get this energy like someone's like, I will pay you to do this. Just help me. It's, if it comes off real desperate, spirit is saying, don't do it. Don't do it. This is a test. Of you listening to your higher self. Working in alignment with your higher self. Because there's something that you can't see. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take on more than you need to. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, you can pray for them. Okay, but they're saying stop. Yeah. Take a break from something for a while. Cleanse out some energy. Woo. Yeah, someone's mentally ill. Someone's going through some emotional distress. All right. Like I said, this could be you. This could be the effect that someone has on you. Um, very stressful, but by the end of the week, you feel lighter. All right, you could be saying like, stop, stop. No, I'm not going to argue with you. Like, this is a blessing in disguise. Spirit wants you to know that. Do not try to force anything. Do not try to, re re you know, like, let's, let's see how we can figure this out. Or let's see how I can help you do X, Y, and Z. No. You're going to take on a, a burden, okay? It's some type of cur Listen, you have some type of friends or people around you that are going through certain things, and you can have a lot of love for them, but you got to let them learn, and you got to let their guides help them this week, okay? Whew. I'm going to get up out of here, and I'm about to cleanse and sage and all that great shenanigans, okay? I don't know why people are, they feel like you could perform magic. I don't know what this is. They want you to fix things for them. Like use you to, to fix their problems, but they got to do the spiritual work. All right, Taurus, sending you lots of love, wisdom, and guidance on your journey, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>